a little bit too much to ask for. We're happy if he just shines. Henry Hinton. The best way to wake up. And talk of the town on Talk 1037 WTIB. Okay, welcome. In. I was, I'm sorry, I was down the hall. I was in the uh, 1079 studio getting educated by the great Mark Pascal on some, you know, Pascal will educate you if you're not careful. It's five minutes after eight o'clock. Welcome into the program. This is Henry Hinton. Uh, we also have in the studio at this very moment, we have Trent McGee and uh, Coach Neil Carr. Coach Carr is throwing me a football. We this is the three of us are known around here as quid pro and quo. So here, Coach. <laughs> coach has got the football in his hand. Does, it, does this mean that you are now going to apply for the Rose High football job? You are. McGee's going to be offensive coordinator. That's going to be ugly. That's that's, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Uh, we're going to be live tomorrow morning at. Um, Chick-fil-A in Winterville. A lot of stuff going on. We've invited the mayor of Winterville. Also, uh, Tony Moore, who is uh, one of the town councilmen over there. Yesterday, I said that they were still aldermen in Winterville, but then I found out they changed it a few years ago. to uh, They were already woke <laughs> over there in Winterville. Just like the already folks, woke. They're, they're, they're already woke in Winterville. They changed it from aldermen to town council, but I bet it's not the same reason Carborough did. Carborough did it because they're so woke that they wanted to get the name men out of their town council. Can't have men in the town council. Uh, we'll be at the Chick-fil-A in Winterville, right across the street from Pitt Community College, right across on Memorial Drive. Do come, please, and uh, be with us tomorrow morning. If you're out in that area, the uh, president of Pitt Community College, Lawrence Rouse, is going to be with us. Uh, we're going to have some uh, folks from Winterville and um, – where I think the uh, I think the Connolly football coach Nate Connor Nate Connor's going to come Nate Connor's going to come by. They got a big home game tomorrow night with uh, Cleveland, Cleveland Cleveland High School, not Cleveland County, as I Correct. said earlier this week. Correct. I think they're going to win that game. <clears throat> huh? I think they'll win that game. Yeah. I think they beat Cleveland. Connolly's yeah. got a shot, man. So uh, Nate's got a good program going out there. Uh, all right, sunshine temperatures today around sixty. I, I walked out in the lobby. It was it's still dark when I got in here this morning, but I just walked out and went, "Man, it's beautiful out there this morning." It's going to be sixty degrees, clear and thirty nine tonight. Uh, there is uh, tomorrow's going to be up around. Um, I got one forecast here that says sixty four. Got another one that says sixty. I mean, uh, let's see. Tomorrow I got one that says sixty seven. Tomorrow one that says sixty four. I'm going with sixty seven. Okay. Um, highs will be uh, around 65 to 67, overnight lows in the 40s. And a lot of sunshine tomorrow as well, a little bit cloudy here and there. 30% chance of rain on Saturday as we uh, get ready for uh, ECU and UConn. What time is that? Is that a nooner? Nooner. ECU, UConn, and uh, ECU basketball tomorrow night. Pirates will take on Evansville in the Bahamas in Nassau. Uh, is that game on TV? Is that game on the TV? Uh, you'll be able to hear that game on 107.9 WNCT. Um, and we're still working on trying to figure out, man, there's just, just so much going on tomorrow night. Edenton's playing. Uh, Duke is playing basketball. Um, it's just it's just a mess trying to coordinate everything this time of year. I do. Yes? I do not see. Where the ECU Evansville game? It's got to be on TV, doesn't it? I don't know. We'll check it and see. Doesn't say. There's no TV listing as of right now. Okay, so 107.9. Then. But I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Uh, and our coverage of ECU UConn football will begin at 9 a.m. on 94.3. The game on uh, coming up on uh, Saturday morning. Tune in for that, and hopefully we will. Um, We'll be able to get a win up there in Stores, Connecticut. You are you? Yes, yes. You believe it? Yes, I do. Very much so. I had two weeks off. I, I, I the last two games, this game and the Tulsa game, as Coach Houston says every week. He said it again last night. The next game is the most important game. 
these next two games are the most important games for them. It would give them so much momentum going into the 2020 season. They need to win these two games, and I think they have a very good chance of doing so. Yeah. And beating Tulsa at home. I really do. Yeah, we need we need a big crowd for the last game. I saw did you see Carolina has sold out the Mercer game this week? Uh if nothing else, Mac Brown sold tickets, didn't he? Yeah, I guess he they, did. They've sold out they're one of the few schools in the country that have sold out every home game this year. UNC Chapel Hill, it's a football school. With Mac Brown back there, people are excited about it. Uh, okay, let's see what else is happening. Uh, um, story today about um, the possibility of there of there being a delayed primary. We, you know, we're scheduled to have a primary for everything here in Eastern North Carolina, March the third. Man, that's right around the corner. That's three months. That's like three months away. So. Um, you know, we'll have the presidential primary. We'll have the uh, the gubernatorial primary. Uh, all of it, March the third, scheduled filing for the uh, candidates is op- is supposed to open on December the second. But now here's the thing: with these new redistricting maps for Congress, uh, the courts are saying that you may not file to run in the uh, congressional primary until we approve the maps. So uh, there was another court on Wednesday, last night actually, that, uh, that, 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 that ruled that no one is going to be able to file for the uh, con- congressional seats in North Carolina until the court says so. And again, the state's primary is scheduled for March 3rd. News and Observer article this morning, state lawmakers redrew the state's congressional map for 2020 last week after the panel of judges suggested it was likely to rule the current map an unconstitutional partisan gerrymander. Republicans hold 10 of the state's 13 seats in the House. Under the new map, Democrats are expected to gain two additional seats, making it an 8-5 split. So, so they, everybody complains about, well, you know, it's not about... Um, it's not about the candidates. It's about the map. But they're already saying, well, yeah, the Democrats should win two more districts here. But guess what? I'm looking at District 1 right now where G.K. Butterfield has been a lock. I'm thinking District 1 could be in play. And so, and I talked to a buddy of mine in Raleigh yesterday who told me the same thing. This guy's one of the top political uh, guys in the state. And uh, he said, you know, I think District 1 is possibly going to be in play. And G.K. Butterfield might be beatable in this election. You know, he's just been untouchable in the current district that he's in. But now, um, uh, you know, number one, he picked up more Pitt County. Yeah. <laughs> and um, there's more out toward the coast as well. So, I, you know, I don't know. It's going to be tough. I don't know. I don't know. But not impossible. I didn't say it wasn't going to be tough. It will be tough. But you know what's also going to be tough is for a uh, a Democrat to win District Three, and um, yeah. So Greg Murphy looks to be in pretty good shape, but again, uh, don't know who's going to run against him yet. But there's already one person up in Dare County who says he's going to run against him in the primary. Don't remember the guy's name, but he's already announced on Twitter. Uh, okay, what else do we have? They tore down the. Um, They tore down the uh, Confederate statue in front of the courthouse in Pittsburgh in uh, Chatham County this week. So uh, Elon University has run a poll and asked, should Confederate monuments remain on public government-owned property? 65% of North Carolinians say yes. 35% say no. So why are we removing them? Because these folks are woke. <laughs> because, you know, a small a small minority of people have made a big stink about Silent Sam and the one in front of the courthouse in Durham and get arrested and all that. I say, fine, get arrested and get that, throw them in jail, leave them in there. One, uh, 25% of those surveyed in the Elon poll say removing monuments helps race relations in the state, 25%. 36% says it hurts race relations in the state. And 40% say, who cares? <laughs> I 
I don't, we don't care either way. 1,467 people surveyed comes on the heels of the removal of the Confederate statue in downtown Pittsburgh in, uh, in Chatham County early Wednesday. After months of protest and a judge's approval, he was woke. Chatham County crews carefully took down the bronze statue on uh, Tuesday morning that has stood outside that courthouse for 112 years. Of course, you know about Silent Sam on the campus of, uh, of uh, Chapel Thrill. You may have mentioned this. Is, is woke an acronym for something? I'm not quite sure I understand the, woke. It's just the new thing for are you woke? Are you? Oh, yeah, I'm here with you. I'm awake. What, what are you, you talking no, about? It, mean, it means are you, uh, are you a snowflake? <laughs> it means are you a liberal freak? Okay. It means do you think like people in California? Oh, okay. Okay. If you're woke. That's what it means. We're getting a lot more woke folks in North Carolina, you know. <laughs> it just sounds <laughs> odd when you say it. You hadn't heard that before? Yeah, I've heard it more over the past 48 hours than I ever have. Well, come on, man. Be woke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be woke. 16 after uh, 8 o'clock. Let's check news headlines now. Hey, it did just confirm, too. Uh, By the uh, way, we're going to play Genius Quiz, too. I'm sorry. You were asking if the, if the UCLA basketball game was on TV. You reached out to uh, a current assistant on staff, and it's going to be on flowhoops.com. What? F-L-O hoops.com, which, if I'm not mistaken, you'll have to pay for a plan Coach, to watch what is that, that? What flow is flow hoops? hoops.com. Huh? You ever heard of it? Flowhoops.com. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to start me a TV network online. Do it. <laughs> and then charge people. <laughs> By the way, did you see the Daily Reflector became a total paywall online today? Did I? I certainly did. So does that mean, did you try to get in this morning? I could still get in early this morning, but I, it's, that's going to change at some point, I know. Well, I think I pay for it. I don't know. I, I, I got to go back and look. See, I think we pay for it here at the station. But um, I, explain the strategy to me. I can't. I can't explain the newspaper uh, business model today on what how to make money and stay afloat. You got the uh, News and Observer about to go under, and now the Daily Reflector has come out today and said, you know, all this content we've given you for free, which by the way has been less and less and less online anyway. So they're giving you less content than I've, they've ever given you before, and now that it was free, and now they're going to make you pay for it online. I don't get that. I don't get it. I don't it. either. But but that's what we understand is happening today. So have yeah. you tried it? I have. As right now, you can still access stories. But if you're not a current subscriber, I would think at some point today that you would not be able to, to, to access content. So will you pay? I, I, I will consider it, but doubtful. Doubtful. I, and I look at it this way. And if you, if you do the math, if you buy a paper every single day of the week, which... I don't do and, and wouldn't do. You're saving roughly seven, eight bucks a month if you, in, yeah. uh, or you subscribe and pay fifteen bucks a month online. Uh, Justin, one of our listeners, has uh, sent me a, a note on social media. Make sure you mention Washington has a home game tomorrow night too. So Washington's back in the playoffs. Yes, this they year. are. Good for they them. Are. They are. Yep. They sure uh, are. Need a big crowd in Washington tomorrow. They're taking on Salisbury. Uh, the uh, Washington. Uh, Pampack has the number two seed and will host again if they win. Good for Washington. Very good. All right, let's um, let's go over to the news desk. Here's McGee with our local news Wait, update. Wait, do you mean Washington County or Washington? Because Washington County plays North Edgecombe tomorrow night. No, Washington High School. Okay, not much. Okay, just double check. Isn't that what you meant, Justin? Just double check. Yeah, Washington High School. Okay. Exactly, yeah. All right, uh, 19 after. Here's McGee with news. All right, Hannah. A man is in custody after two of his co-workers were shot and seriously injured after just after midnight Thursday at a hog processing plant in Bladen County. Bladen County Sheriff Jim McVicker said an active shooter incident happened at the Smithfield Packing Company located in Tarboro. A man and a woman who worked at the plant were shot by a co-worker in a stairwell at the plant. Both shooting victims were airlifted to hospitals in serious condition. The suspect, 20-year-old Jaquante Williams of St. Paul's, was taken into custody at the Bladen County Sheriff's Office. I believe he was found in a wooded area just behind the plant wearing all black clothes. Uh, he was charged with two counts of attempted first-degree murder. 
Following an 11 a.m. ribbon cutting this morning, the Greenville Southwest Bypass will officially open this afternoon. The 12.6-mile four-lane freeway will begin approximately two miles south of Aden on NC-11, wrap around the west side of Aden and Winterville, and end at the U.S. 264 Bypass west of Greenville. The bypass will relieve congestion and improve safety in Greenville, particularly on Memorial Drive and Stantonsburg Road. ECU police are looking for a man who allegedly tried to break into an office building on campus. An ECU alert sent out shortly after 6 p.m. on Wednesday said that a man attempted to enter the Carroll Belk building but was stopped by locked doors. ECU police say they believe the man is linked to a similar case at the ECU team's building as well as larceny of a wallet from the Science and Technology building. All of these cases took place on November 14th between 4.15 and 7 p.m. And the Aiden Police Department is increasing this crime-fighting arsenal with a new app to help residents connect with the department to find information, view alerts, and submit anonymous tips from their smartphone. Developed by Tip411, the app puts a new crime-fighting tool into the hands of community members of all ages. The app is available for download for free via the Google Play Store, iTunes App Store, or by visiting the Aiden Police Department's website. Henry, back to you. I just sent the great Luke Fisher a note on Facebook and said, we just talked about your birthday and the fact that it's uh, today is your birthday and you are one of the stars of the Peach Bowl. I just sent that to him on Facebook. You should get Luke on the phone sometime talk about that. Did you ask me if he was indeed 50? I did not. It just doesn't make any sense to me that Luke would be 50. 50 is not old, but it, it just seems old for Luke Fisher. Oh, it's old. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I'm just older. Come on, man. <laughs> it's definitely old. Oh, it's old. Uh, sunshine 62 today. Well, you do the weather. Tell us what's going on. Okay. We're going to have plenty of sunshine for today with a high of 60 degrees. Clear and mild for tonight with lows around 43. For your Friday, partly sunny skies with a high of 67 degrees. Could see 70 in some areas tomorrow with lows tomorrow night around 50 degrees. Should make for a great night for the second round of the state football playoffs. And for your Saturday, rain back in the forecast, mainly in the afternoon. A 30% chance of showers with a high of 62. Rain gone, though, for Sunday with highs back in the mid to upper 50s. Trying to find the proper, uh, proper script that I'm supposed to read right now for... Uh our sponsor, which is University PC Care. Um, here's the thing. I'll just, I'll just ad lib this because uh, I've been a customer of University PC Care for a long time. And our buddy William Paramore, who's a former Interbanks Media uh, member, went over there and is running their BizCare tech program. He's running the um, BizCare support program. And I'm telling you, if you have not done anything to protect your uh, computers yet, I mean, we just had another cyber attack here in Pitt County with the ABC board. Some of the computers at one of the ABC stores got attacked. And um, the city of Greenville got attacked. I mean, it's been, it's crazy. You know, you'll come in, your computer will be locked up, and you're out of business. You can't do any business. So, you know, if, if you wait until that happens and you got the, here's the choice. You either pay the ransom to some offshore idiot who's locked up your computers or, um, you know, you uh, you call the police and the police get involved. But, I mean, you still can't get your computers open until, you know, it might take weeks and months to get back on track. So how do you conduct your business? So uh, that's why uh, the, the uh, great folks at University PC Care have come up with what they call their BizCare Tech Support and Cybersecurity Plan. This is worth the investment because you, uh, you invest up front and they do – a great job with antivirus, ransomware protection, software patch management. It's like having a, 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 your own IT department, but it's inside your business. So I highly recommend University PC Care. We've been doing business with those guys for a long, long time. And uh, they are basically our IT department here at the Radio Ranch. Uh, here, here's a number. Write this number down. Call William and let him come by and show you the BizCare plan. It's 252-394-8572, 394-8572, University PC Care. You can, uh, you can also find them online at universitypccare.com. All right, more talk of the town coming up 24 after 8 o'clock. Sunshine, beautiful day today, all the way up to 62. Man, it's going to be nice for the next few days. A lot warmer than we were last week, that's for sure. Stay with us. We'll be right back. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere. 
from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. Come check out the huge savings on all new 2019 Ram trucks and Jeep here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Huge savings on all remaining 2019 Jeeps and come check out the great selection of 2020 models. It's Jeep Adventure Days. Buy a new Jeep Cherokee this month and get 20% off MSRP. That's right, 20% off a new Jeep Cherokee this month. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. It's the sale you've waited for. The big finale at Greenville Toyota. Get our best offers of the year on over 200 new Toyotas. Plus up to 130% of KBB value for your trade at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. Top Dog Academy provides training services and daycare for dog owners in and around Greenville. The Top Dog facility located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bellsport, is a comfortable, healthy environment where dog owners can feel secure about leaving their pets. Top Dog Academy teaches people how to have a better relationship with their dog. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Come check out the huge savings on all new 2019 Ram trucks and Jeep here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Huge savings on all remaining 2019 Jeeps and come check out the great selection of 2020 models. It's Jeep Adventure Days. Buy a new Jeep Cherokee this month and get 20% off MSRP. That's right, 20% off a new Jeep Cherokee this month. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep, come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. It's game time. Dude, that was Luke Keekly. It's game time. Oh. It's game time. It's game time. Thanks, Luke Keekly. It's game time. I know, Luke. It's game time. Now help me with these groceries. It's game time. Our biggest savings of the year are here. It's the big finale at Greenville Toyota. Get the Greenville Advantage on over 200 vehicles. No-cost oil changes, tire rotations, courtesy shuttle, free car washes, and more. At Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Time for your ray of sarcastic sunshine. Talk of the town with Henry Hinton on 1037 WTIB. Okay, welcome back. 29 after uh, 8 o'clock. We're going to be at uh, Chick-fil-A in Winterville tomorrow morning. I'm excited about that because uh, Chick-fil-A has some good breakfast food. Michael, you all psyched for that? Think Abbott will feed you tomorrow? Come on out to uh, Chick-fil-A in Winterville. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I just want uh, the plugs to work. Chick. <laughs> Uh, mayor pro tem of uh, Winterville, Mark Smith, is going to be with us. I guess the mayor is unavailable tomorrow. I understand he's uh, a little under the weather. Uh, also, uh, uh, Tony Moore, former state senator, who is uh, on the Winterville Town Council. I ran into him. He was actually over at Great Harvest Bread Company yesterday yes, he morning. Was. He's going to stop by tomorrow morning, and he may make an announcement tomorrow. Now, all this redistricting for these House seats. So the uh, Candy Smith's district, which is House – 
seat District 8 has pretty much been north of the river in Pitt County. Have you seen now? It comes into Greenville around the university area and goes all the way out and encompasses Winterville. Hmm. So um, there is some belief that Tony Moore will run for the House Representative seat currently being held by Candy Smith. Interesting. Maybe we could have an announcement tomorrow morning. We'll see. But uh, Mark Smith, the mayor pro tem of Winterville, will also be with us. Uh, Mar- uh, Lawrence uh, Rouse, Dr. Lawrence Rouse, the president of Pitt Community College. Uh, Nate Connor, the head coach of the D.H. Connolly Viking football team, which has a second round of the playoffs tomorrow night. Come on out tomorrow morning. We'll have a Connolly pep rally over at uh, Chick-fil-A. We're excited to be in Chick-fil-A Winterville tomorrow morning right on Highway 11, Memorial Drive, across the street from Pitt Community College. By the way, uh, when we were at the uh, power luncheon this week and uh, Peter Hans was speaking, the president of the uh, State Community College System, did he say that there are 23,000 yes. students I told my at wife Pitt Community College? the same thing on 23,000 yes. students. It, that is, it's hard to believe, but stop and think about that. That is a 23,000 students at Pitt that Community College. That is a college. large number. No kidding. Third largest in the state? I believe it's what he said. Maybe Scott Shook is listening and can confirm that. But I think that's, that's about right. Because uh, Wake Tech is number one, and then I think the one down in Charlotte's number two. And uh, is the one in Jacksonville bigger than ours now? Coastal Community? Coastal Carolina? Know. All right, so today is one week from Thanksgiving. Um, if you um, if you listen to our laugh track coming up, you'll hear um, John Panette talk. What was he talking about? Turnips? I hate turnips. So a new study's out and found the most hated Thanksgiving food in every state. Um you got to be miserable if you go into Thanksgiving hating turkey, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, the results of the study are uh, here. The most hated Thanksgiving food in every state based on more than 50,000 hate tweets about different foods. And believe it or not, there are three states where turkey is the most hated Thanksgiving food. Those states are Maine, Idaho, and Oregon. You people are un-American. The most hated food overall is cranberry sauce. I'm with that. I'm never. I do not like. I've never had sauce. it, Michael. You look like you might be a cranberry sauce guy. I'm not a big cranberry. No, sauce I've eaten guy. it. My wife's a big cranberry. She loves it. Coach, you like the cranberry sauce? No, I don't even like stuffing. Well, you know, stuffing is is one of the uh, interesting. Interesting, you should say that. I can do stuffing. I can do some stuffing in a heartbeat. Uh, all right, here's uh, here is the most hated. Thanksgiving food in the state of North Carolina. Coach Carr, you're a winner. It's stuffing in North Carolina. North Carolina hates stuffing. South Carolina hates stuffing. What do, what do the Carolinas have against stuffing? It's just some good carbs. You know, here's the thing about stuffing. I like stuffing as long as they don't put a lot of junk in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've seen people that put like um, – Celery and, oh, I mean, you know, stuff. I don't want that in there. Just wanted it to kind of taste like a chocolate chip. <laughs> a chocolate chip stuffing. That's, that's you know, that's kind of the stuffing that I want. Okay. Um, some states, uh, some of the other things that people don't like, sweet potatoes. I myself am not a sweet potato guy. I know that's sacrilegious here in North Carolina. I am not a big, uh, you know, I can eat them. I'm not crazy about them. Do you eat the sweet potatoes? No. You guys in there eat in the control room? Uh, I love them. With the brown sugar? I can't have them, but I love them. What do you mean you can't have it? I'm on a diet. Oh, for crying out loud. You're not going to diet Thanksgiving Day. Coach, No, I'm not dieting Thanksgiving. Do you like sweet potatoes? Love sweet potatoes. Yes, love sweet potatoes. You do love sweet potatoes. All right, some of the other things, cranberry sauce we mentioned. Green bean casserole. Now, let me tell you, my wife makes a mean green casserole, green bean casserole. She makes a mean green bean casserole. Mean green bean. I don't know what she does, but I love the way she does it with the uh, 
you know, the onion rings on top, the little dried onion rings. It sounds good. Really good. She can really, really good. she can really do that. Uh, pumpkin pie came in in the top five of things that people don't like at, uh, at Thanksgiving. By the way, my mom was in town and heard us talking about Great Harvest Bread Company and went by and bought a pie yesterday at Great Harvest. Good for her. I'm telling you, if you want uh, something great for your family for the holidays, Great Harvest has pies. They have all those breads. Check it out. I love uh, Greg and Kim Green. They are such nice people. Very good people. And uh, the community, it's, it's Greenville's gathering place. But, I mean, we also need to support Greg and Kim because the, at Great Harvest Bread because they do so much to support the community. They're local people doing good things locally. You don't see these chains come in and do the stuff that Greg and Kim mm-hmm. do. You don't see it. What we talked about earlier this morning, this community needs to stick together. Seven, uh, 836, let's get a break in. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's uh, open up phone lines and play Genius Quiz. You want to? I'm ready. We're going to play the Genius Quiz right now. Call us at 252-561-8255. 561-8255. A rare 8 o'clock Genius Quiz. Uh, winner this morning will get $25 gift card to Atavola gift card for a car wash at Pirates Cove Car Wash. And we also have an oil change for your vehicle from Dave Davis's East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Call right now if you want to win that whole package. 252-561-8255. 252-561-8255. Call right now or play a genius quiz. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. It's the sale you've waited for. The big finale at Greenville Toyota. Get our best offers of the year on over 200 new Toyotas. Plus up to 130% of KBB value for your trade at Greenville Toyota. Where our volume saves you money. Come check out the huge savings on all new 2019 Ram trucks and Jeep here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Huge savings on all 2019 Ram trucks and come check out the great selection of 2020 models. Get 0% for 60 months plus 4,000 cash back on a new 2019 Ram 1500 now during Ram Power Days. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep, come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Top Dog Academy provides training services and daycare for dog owners in and around Greenville. The Top Dog facility located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, is a comfortable, healthy environment where dog owners can feel secure about leaving their pets. Top Dog Academy teaches people how to have a better relationship with their dog. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. biggest savings of the year are here. It's the big finale at Greenville Toyota. Get the Greenville Advantage on over 200 vehicles. No cost oil changes, tire rotations, courtesy shuttle, free car washes, and more at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. All right, it's time to play Genius Quiz. Our phone lines are jammed up right now, all five lines, but if you'll hang on, you can get in in a minute. 
if somebody loses. 252-561-8255. Prize pack this morning, $25 gift card to Ottavola Market Cafe. Great time of year for some of Ottavola soups. Somebody called me the other night and said, I'm going to Ottavola. I'm going to try what you have said is the best soup in the world, which is the kicking chicken chowder at Ottavola. Have you, have you had that? I have not. Why not? I don't know what I'm waiting on. You live near it. I know. I you should have it. On. I should. It's the best soup in the entire universe. I should. Of course, uh, open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Great food, great atmosphere at Ottavola Market Cafe. So we got a gift card for $25 to that. And we also have an oil change for your vehicle from uh, Chip Davis over at Dave Davis's East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. And we also have a um, we have a, uh, a car wash for you from... Um, Pirates Cove Car Wash. Let's go to line one, and Steve is up first in Greenville. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. All right, Steve, here is your question. Over 30% of these will happen between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. What are we talking about? So this, you know, these happen all year long. People do this all year long, but... 30% of them happen between Thanksgiving, like in a, in a month between uh, Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. So what do you think it is? How about returning items to the store? No, that would probably be more like 90%. 90%. All right, thank you, Steve. That opens up a line, 252-561-8255, 561-8255. Belinda is in Greenville this morning. Good morning, Belinda. Belinda. Yes, sir. All right. Over 30% of these will happen between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. What do you think it is? Uh, going to the store at the last minute. Hmm. Going to the store at the last minute. No. 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 All right, I'm in thank, that category, though. Thank you, Belinda. Uh, th that opens up a line at 252-561-8255. Another Greenville line. Terry in Greenville. Good morning, Terry. Good morning. All right, Terry, over 30% of these will happen between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. Think about that now. What, you know, what, what would happen more frequently this time of year than it would the other 11 months? So it's like in one month, 30% of these happen for the whole year. I didn't catch what McGee said because I was on the wait, and he... He did something. He did not said give something it. about category, but I didn't he hear did it. He did not I, give I think a hint. I need that hint. He was he was babbling. Just ignore that. Yeah, I was babbling. Just ignore McGee's I, I, babbling. I, I didn't give a hint. I really didn't. Dare. He was not okay. giving. A... <laughs> um, you want a hint? Sure. It takes two people to make this happen. That was my guess, and then he screwed me off. And I well, wait thought a minute. It was what was your guess? That's born. not a guess. What is it? Babies being born. No. <laughs> See, you, thought, you were so sure of yourself. I was. That is That's not a good correct. guess, though. Everybody wants to have that, that New Year's baby. Correct. Correct. <laughs> that is not correct. That is not correct. All right. Thank you, Terry. That opens up a line, 252-561-8255. Let's go down to Washington. And Dave is up next. Good morning, Dave. Hey, how you doing? Over 30% of these will happen between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. Takes two to tango. What is it? Uh, takes two people. Well, I was thinking in a, I was thinking in a, a different direction. I was thinking between a, I was torn between a speeding ticket or an accident. Yeah, you're 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 going in the wrong direction, bro. I'm, I'm way off, so. You're all right. Well, thanks. That is not that is not gonna that's not gonna get her done. All right, let's go uh, to our next line. Pam is up next. Pam, where are you calling from? Winterville. All right, Pam in Winterville. Over 30% of these will happen between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. What is it? Well, listening to your hint, I'd say baby's conceived. Yeah. Didn't we already say no to that? She said that we had babies born, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So you're thinking the activity level cranks up at Thanksgiving. That's what you're saying. That's it. No, that's not right. It might be true, but that's not what we're looking for. Uh, that opens up another line, 252-561-8255. We got Ottavola, Pirates Cove, and uh, Dave Davis is East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Prizes on the line. Let's go to Daryl. Good morning, Daryl. Where are you calling from? Uh, Vanceboro. All right, let's go down to Craven County in Vanceboro. 
Daryl, over 30% of these will happen between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. What do you think it is? How about family reunions? No. Mm. Right. Most of those are in the summer, aren't they? You got the church reunions and the yeah. family reunions. Ah, no. Yeah. Because yeah, your family's getting together for the holidays. That's not, no. Remember I said it takes two people for this. You'd have to have more than two people for a family reunion. Janice, unless you're a small family. Janice uh, is calling in. Good morning, Janice. Where are you calling from? Good morning. I'm calling from Edenton. All right. God's country. <laughs> All right, yes, Janice. All right. Good to hear from you up there in Edenton this morning. Over 30% of these will happen between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day. It takes I'm two say, people. I'm going to say wedding proposals. That is correct. Got to give it to her. That is correct. Yes. That Yay. is correct. Mike didn't mean to hit the buzzer on that. I, Michael, I screwed up. Michael, I messed up. Michael buzzed you, but I he did. was wrong. Nope, you I'm wrong. wrong. Uh, the actual the actual answer is engagements. Engagements. But you're. I mean, that's so close, man. You know, got to give it to her. Proposal is a little different because somebody could say no, and then you wouldn't have an engagement. But well, that's true. Yeah, but Janice, because you're from Eden, then I'm letting you in. That's the truth. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> What's your last name, Janice? My last name is Smith. Janice Smith in Edenton. Tell her what she is, McGee. You're a stinking genius. You are. Yes, a stink- I am. You are indeed a stinking genius. <laughs> yes, you are. We should have a <laughs> plaque for the winners now that say you're a stinking genius. We can get that That'd done. That'd be great. Yeah. But you get that done. Get on that. I'm on it. Uh, I don't have a plaque for you, but I do have a uh, gift card for two. Uh, dinner for two. With tw- well, $25 gift card to Atavola. You ever been to Atavola, Janice? I have not, but I'm looking forward you, to it. Uh, you, you're going to love it. I promise you. It's one of my favorite spots. It's kind of a neighborhood hangout for me. And see all you can see all our, your friends there. Uh, I will tell you that uh, Fridays and Saturday nights are pretty busy, but you can sneak into the bar. And wait. Oh, nice! <laughs> and so, uh, and it's it, here's the thing, it, Atavola. It's like a party in the bar on the weekends. <laughs> so uh, enjoy yourself at Atavola. Also, you got an oil change for your vehicle from I Dave Davis's East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep while you're in town, and um, and also a a car wash from Pirates Cove Car Wash. So Janice Smith in Eden, you're a stinking genius. Congratulations. Thank you. I love you guys. Love you guys. Thank you for calling us. <laughs> All right, hang on, and uh, Coach Carr or Michael or somebody will pick up in the control room there, and we'll get your prizes to you. 13 in front of 9 o'clock. we got one last break here, and we're coming back. And we will uh, be back in the studio. Don't forget, tomorrow morning, live on location in Winterville at uh, Chick-fil-A. Please come out and be part of the program tomorrow morning. We'd love to see you while we're out there. And when we return, we're going to replay our uh, funny laugh track on Thanksgiving lunch from John Panette. Stay with us. Come check out the huge savings on all new 2019 Ram trucks and Jeep here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Huge savings on all remaining 2019 Jeeps and come check out the great selection of 2020 models. It's Jeep Adventure Days. Buy a new Jeep Cherokee this month and get 20% off MSRP. That's right, 20% off a new Jeep Cherokee this month. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. It's the sale you've waited for. The big finale at Greenville Toyota. Get our best offers of the year on over 200 new Toyotas. Plus up to 130% of KBB value for your trade at Greenville Toyota. Where our volume saves you money. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. Come check out the huge savings on all new 2019 Ram trucks and Jeep here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Huge savings on all remaining 2019 Jeeps and come check out the great selection of 2020 models. It's Jeep Adventure Days. Buy a new Jeep Cherokee this month and get 20% off MSRP. That's right, 20% off a new Jeep Cherokee this month. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come see us. 
across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Top Dog Academy provides training services and daycare for dog owners in and around Greenville. The Top Dog facility located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, is a comfortable, healthy environment where dog owners can feel secure about leaving their pets. Top Dog Academy teaches people how to have a better relationship with their dog. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. It's game time. Dude, that was Luke Keekly. It's game time. Oh. It's game time. It's game time. Thanks, Luke Keekly. It's game time. I know, Luke. It's game time. Now help me with these groceries. It's game time. Our biggest savings of the year are here. It's the big finale at Greenville Toyota. Get the Greenville Advantage on over 200 vehicles. No-cost oil changes, tire rotations, courtesy shuttle, free car washes, and more. At Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Your talk shouldn't be. This is Henry Hinton and Talk of the Town on 103.7 WTIB. Okay, welcome back. It's uh, nine minutes in front of um, of nine o'clock. Uh, I'm going to get an update uh, today on uh, ticket sales for the Embers Christmas show, but all indications are we're off to a brisk start. Good. And we are selling discount tickets. If you buy 25 or more, if you want to buy the corporate package, uh, we have some uh, we have some people to buy like 50. Uh, we'll sell them to you for fifteen dollars. Otherwise, they are um, they are are uh, twenty dollars. The show is December seventeenth. We confirmed yesterday we're going to have uh, the um, the Tim Sutton Trio is going to open for the Embers this year. So it's going to be bigger and better. Our buddy Tim Sutton, who does some great stuff, um, he's got um, a couple of uh, ladies that sing with him, and they're going to open for the Embers coming up. Uh, doors will open at uh, six thirty, and uh, the concert at seven o'clock at Reimage Church. Tickets are available right now at um, Lawnmower Service Company here in Greenville, um, Steinbeck's Men's Shop in Greenville, the Reimage Church office, which is open today until five. They are not open on uh, Fridays. Thanks to all of our great sponsors, Telco Credit Union. Uh, here in Greenville and Tarboro, one of our big sponsors this year. Thanks to all the great folks at Telco Credit Union there on Arlington Boulevard. Uh, Doug Henry Ford and Aiden, Fantastic Sam's, the Jewelry Market on Evans Street, um, right there near the entrance to uh, Best Buy, just opened last week, their grand opening last week. Speedy Oil Change and Auto Service, two locations, Fire Tower Road and Greenville Boulevard. And SCA Collections, along with Steinbeck's and Lawnmower Service Company, where you can get the tickets. Uh, don't wait. The goal is 1,000 tickets this year, and we're going to sell it out. And uh, you will be able to come out and see the best Christmas show, I promise you, you have ever seen. If, you know, if your friends have seen it, they'll tell you about that. All right, uh, 7 in front of 9 o'clock. Let's check some sports headlines now. Here's McGee. All right, college basketball from t Wednesday night, number 5, North Carolina, with a win over Elon. They're now 4-0. Louisville and Memphis, both winners on the hard one on Tuesday. Memphis is James Wiseman. We'll have an additional 12 games. We'll be back. Uh, in January when the Tigers take on South Florida in conference play. High school basketball, North Pitts girls were winners last night. The boys lost to Eastern Wayne. Conley lost to Fike last night. Rose's girls failed to, uh, failed to Pimlico. JP2's girls and boys, both winners last night. Coming up tonight in the NFL, it's going to be the Texans and the Colts with an 820 kick on the NFL Network. Okay, don't forget we are live on location at Chick-fil-A in Winterville tomorrow morning. Thanks to our great sponsors of our Winterville show tomorrow morning, Chick-fil-A and Vincent uh, Dental. And uh, our buddy uh, Brian Vincent at uh, the, the dentist in, uh, in Winterville signed on. Feral Gas, Winterville Flower Shop, Luke's Auto Detailing, Main and Mill Restaurant, Coon Homes. David, please come by and, enter, and let me interview you. He won't ever let me do it, but he does so many great things for the community. North Carolina Stairway Solutions, Quality Collision, Full Service Flooring, Champions Health and Fitness, and the Winterville Chamber of Commerce, all sponsors of the Tomorrow Morning Show. And again, we're going to be at the Winterville right across the street, the Chick-fil-A from right across the street from uh, Pitt Community College. So please come out and be with us. Tomorrow morning, I'm excited about uh, being over there and see a lot of my friends in Winterville. Could have a political announcement. We'll wait and see. Not quite sure how that's going to play out, but um, 
a lot of opportunities tomorrow to uh, learn about what's going on in Winterville, uh, which is now, you know, we talked about how this uh, Southwest bypass that opens today is going to affect Aiden. How's it going to affect Winterville? I think it's going to blow Winterville up too. So the Southwest bypass ribbon cutting uh, for the super highway around Greenville, the part, new part of the Beltline opens today. The ribbon cutting is at 11, so they're saying you'll be able to drive on it this afternoon. We'll see. All right, let's do our laugh track. John Panette on the laugh track now. My family ruined Thanksgiving for me. My first Thanksgiving in the house, I was going to host it. I never hosted Thanksgiving. I was going to have it catered. I wanted it to be done really nice. They said, no, you always take us to restaurants. We're going to cater it for you. We're bringing food. There's 10 of us. My sister brings a 12-pound turkey. Grace did not go the way I would have liked it to. Thank you, God, for the 12-pound turkey. I didn't know they made them that small. It must have got hit by a car. I hope it didn't suffer. Since there are 10 of us, tell me there are nine more turkeys just like this in the kitchen. <laughs> tell me this is like the Cornish game hen of turkeys. <laughs> And my other sister, the health nut, she brought the vegetables. She brought turnips. <laughs> People bring stuff to your house, you wanna be nice, gracious. How do you like my turnips? I don't think you're supposed to eat these. <laughs> these suck with butter on them. And nothing sucks with butter on them. Turnips are a horrible vegetable and they show up during the holidays. What is with the turnip? First of all, you can't cook it can't cut it with any knife in the kitchen. You have to bounce it off the concrete for an hour to soften it up. <laughs> then you have to boil it for eight hours. If it's that difficult, the turnip doesn't want to be eaten. <laughs> turnips are a root vegetable. They grow in the ground. That means at the beginning of the world, God made the turnip and said, no. <laughs> this didn't come out right. <laughs> Gabriel, try this. <gasps> you don't like it either, huh? I was going to put it on a tree, but you know what? I'll bury it and they won't find it. <laughs> yeah, well, some idiot dug it up and brought it to my house for Thanksgiving. <laughs> It's the sale you've waited for. The big finale at Greenville Toyota. Get our best offers of the year on over 200 new Toyotas. Plus up to 130% of KBB value for your trade at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. When you're not feeling well, Vident Health can connect you to the care you need anytime, anywhere, from any device. Connect to a new way to get well. Connect to Vident Now. With Vident Now Virtual Care, you can visit a board-certified doctor online 24-7. It's private, secure, and affordable. See a doctor now at VidentNow.com. Come check out the huge savings on all new 2019 Ram trucks and Jeep here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Huge savings on all 2019 Ram trucks and come check out the great selection of 2020 models. Get 0% for 60 months plus 4,000 cash back on a new 2019 Ram 1500 now during Ram Power Days. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep, come see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville.
Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. Our biggest savings of the year are here. It's the big finale at Greenville Toyota. Get the Greenville Advantage on over 200 vehicles. No cost oil changes, tire rotations, courtesy shuttle, free car washes, and more. At Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money.